Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here director Nancy Drew, season 2, episode 13. Very excited to get into this. We had last week off for this and Legacies, which I have no idea why. It's just a week off. It's very weird to keep doing this, but here we are. Can't wait to see what's going to happen. Before we get into this, as always though, if you want to support my channel and you like these videos, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Press that subscribe. Why can I not say subscribe today? It is a problem. This is the second video I've done, and I cannot say the word subscribe. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, press down below and press that subscribe button. <laughs> My mouth is just not working for me today. Alright, and also press that notification bell. That will let you know right away when new videos are uploaded, so you can watch it right away. Okay? Thank you. Um, and yeah, let's get into this, you guys. Here we go. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, no. Oh, why, Nancy? Ew. Ew. Do not, do not, no. I have not ship it. Oh, okay. I went between them. Damn. Is she tied up? She got a kinky ace. I don't mind these two, but I said before Nancy and Ace. Oh, do you take for money, Dana? Okay, you're better than 11, and uh, I have it. Oh, he's the Nancy. Ah! No. And Ace has to watch this. Oh. She's getting a present from her grandma. That's cute. I did one morally compromised thing, and lives were at stake, including Ace's. You can't blame Nancy for that. Case against Everything I was working but on Ace would be dead. So. Is it not enough for you to screw up my home life? You have to rearrange my office too? She's cleaned up. Come on. Oh, Dad is bored. The letter! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> to go hide out Dad's love letter from the English woman. Maybe that'll teach you not to mess with my stuff. Oh, George. Very petty. Oh, shit. Who the fuck was that? What the fuck? The lines are in groups of seven to five. Oh, there's someone out in the woods then, for sure. Or something. Ghost. Oh, the way Nancy looked at that. Oh, the little kid. The hell? Ghost, don't bleed. Well. So this deserted island? It's not deserted, it's home. Yeah, okay. Why is this little girl living in the first. abandoned okay. island? What the fuck? Okay, the creepy doll. No, what don't zoom in on the creepy doll. What the fuck is going on? Embers falling? What? So he's in a man or a thing, huh? Yeah. Do we like her? She's competent. <laughs> She's competent. So the pickles are as a Sunbury stash were part of the captain's order. Grilled cheese and peanut butter. Yeah. Did she have an invisible friend that she's listening to? November 30th, 2014, Paul Close, owner of Marine Mechanics in Owl Cove, Maine, went sailing with his wife, Olivia, and daughter, Elizabeth. She's been there for five years. Later, bodies were never found. My grandmother and I had butter sandwiches, and it was Elizabeth's favorite snack. Birdie. She was... So Birdie is uh, Elizabeth. Missing person. She was a person who was dead, and somehow she's kept herself yeah. alive this whole time. <gasps> oh, shit! She killed a bird? Accident. What the fuck is wrong with this child? This little girl just killed a bird. Why? Why are you doing this? 
Yes. Oh, it's whatever's haunting her or something. We need to get help for Birdie now. Whatever it is, I'm not letting it destroy the claw. Okay, my loft's mostly made of bricks. It's way more fire resistant than this place. Yeah, and it's not empty because you have no tenants. What? <laughs> is that a sauce bun? Okay. Listen, we're safe. Are you sure? We turn the heating off to reduce uh, fire hazards. She's just surrounded in a okay, circle of salt, back eating back a back peanut back. butter and cheese sandwich. Call them the fire souls. Fire souls. I opened my eyes and there was only water. So I snow before. She doesn't remember. She's the presence of a serious trauma. We have to get her help. The pain of the ship blew up the banister with a cannonball. Killed everyone. They all died on board in a fire. It's oh. Their calling card of gun. In 1860, the schooner named September, it could have easily been on the banister in the War of 1812. The fire souls are the ghostly crew of the Princess Bannister. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Brenda's loving this. First time to call her. These ghosts took care of Bertie for years. Why would pirates never do anything good and do that? To get off the island, maybe? No. These fire souls must have done something horrible to Bertie so that they were desperate to walk back. What do we know about the accident? Did they uh, cause the accident? Oh, I'm guessing they were. Parents' boat. You know what's happening? They look really mad. Oh, shit. I am no longer served by these ties that bind ripping spirits of my body and mind. Oh, wow. You actually would? Oh, shit. She's on fire. Okay. It's that easy though? 